All right, I wanna go over your first 90 days in business, what to focus on, what to cover, how your agents can have the maximum results with Family First Life, and it all starts with plugging into our system. What do I mean by plugging into our system? So, you're going to have an email blast that comes out from corporate and your management. I need you to make sure and read your emails to start with. I need to make sure that you're on your team's Slack, Facebook pages, Telegram, whatever they use for communication, your job is to literally entrench yourself in that and get to know the culture of the group that you're in, get to see what other people are doing to maximize your results the best way. I think the greatest part about Family First Life is all these different Facebook pages that we have throughout the group that allows us to give good news to every, every single person. And uh, gosh, it's inspirational what a lot of these groups are doing out there. And that's the reason why you need to be plugged in because you need to see other people winning. And, and it's hard when you just feel like you're doing this by yourself, but when you're part of a bigger community, it feels like you connect better and that's where you'll get massive results. I know one thing, I'm gonna make sure that when you're plugging into these systems that you know you, your schedule has to be tight. And if you don't learn discipline early, you will not have freedom. But if you learn how to be disciplined when you're in a self-employed environment, you're gonna earn more money than you've ever made in your entire life. So when we're talking about schedules, you know, vast majority of people are doing dials on Mondays and Thursdays. They're setting up Tuesday and Wednesday, and they're dialing, you know, Thursday for Friday and Saturday, generally taking a Sunday off. Some people work on Sundays too. It's totally up to you on which day you wanna take off or how you wanna implement that. But I can tell you what, the other thing that I see people do, especially early on, is there'll be different trainings. Maybe they'll have an agency training during the week. To me, those are non-negotiables. Those are things that you need to plug into because you're gonna learn from top individuals that are having extreme success. Or you get on you know, Thursdays with our advanced market sales training on Facebook, or Fridays with the TNL on Facebook. You shouldn't be running appointments during those times. Those should be rocks in your schedules that do not move. One of my biggest pet peeves that I can tell you is when I'm you know, training a new producer and I say, hey, were you on the next level live call? You know, they went over some in-home sales or some appointment setting that I think would be helpful. And they're like, no, I went, to the, well, I went to this appointment instead. And generally what happens when you go to appointments during training events, for example, is you get one leg or no show or no sales. So I, I'm not kidding you either. Like literally, I've seen that time and time again where people are running business during times that you should be training. So understand the schedule of the agency, what they really want from you. And the reason why we want that though, isn't because we're trying to dictate to you on what needs to look like. It's because you've never done this before or you haven't done this with Family First Life before. So in order to get what you want out of this year, you're gonna have to tighten up your schedule and, and just entrench yourself, you know, really immerse yourself in our training so you get to that next level in business. And, and like I said, the beautiful thing about like annual convention is you get to rob other ideas from different people and then implement them into your business. Well, being on those training calls allows you to think about things that you're not currently thinking about. One of the things I enjoy about getting on these calls and these episodes and videos that we all do is we're able to learn so much from other people that are having extreme success. And if, so if you're not plugged in, I think it's gonna be really difficult for you to achieve the success that you really want. And I see people you know, that have had what I would consider mediocre success in other, uh, you know, other carriers, other companies come over here and they think they can take a, a slightly different approach. I love what Paul McLean said at our Founders Day meeting uh, about a month ago. And he was talking, he was using the example of, of Sean's coaching. And if you get close to Sean, he coaches pretty hard because he has certain standards and levels that he wants to hit. And that bleeds through our leadership and our organization. Well, a lot of times when somebody gets coached hard, we only wanna to listen to the parts that we like. 
We all want to listen to where we want to go. And what Paul said, and I've been guilty of this as well over the years, is you take something and then you want to make it into your own. And you want to have your own results and your own success. Well, the problem with that is the road gets real windy once you start trying to do it your way versus the straight line that your leadership and the company is asking you to do. So I think I need you, I really need to challenge each and every one of you that is out there trying to do their own thing. That's fine. You're independent. You can do whatever you want. But I'm talking about the high achievers. I'm talking about top agencies. I'm talking about top producers. They, they lead by example, and they also are plugged into the system, and they also really are never missing any event. Like there's multiple times I can tell you where Sean's like, hey, I got a conference call in two hours and we're all on, just like that. And it's not even in our schedule, but we make it happen because it's important. There's no message that isn't important. We're not trying to waste your time. We're not trying to talk at you and give you information that you don't need. So I wanna challenge you if you're new and you're thinking you're gonna kind of bounce around do your own thing, Please plug into the system, plug into our system, our training schedule, our training platform, because the results that these agents and agencies are getting are second to none in the industry. There's not another company out there that can show the results that Family First Life has. Our so-called competitors, most of our top agencies do more than our actual complete companies do in regards to our competition. So I, I think it's important for you to really look at that and understand this is a different animal. This is a different beast. And it doesn't matter if you're, you're from the same industry. There's things you need to learn. I've seen so many people come from like a heavy IUL industry. And then that's all they want to do here at Family First Life is IULs. Just using that as an example. When, it, when we focus on simplified issue life insurance sales. And they don't even really understand the you know, underwriting. We'll get into that a little bit as well. So first and foremost is schedule type, rocks in the schedule, non-negotiables. That's how you become successful. Eliminate white space, run 30 appointments a week, buy the leads that get you to 30 appointments a week, and you'll have a tremendous amount of success. So let's start to talk about leads. So in the CRM, you'll notice there are second chance leads for eight, five, three dollars. Great resources. Instant internet life leads, new internet life leads, eleven dollars. There's a lot of times there's discount codes that can cut an instant internet life lead to eight dollars or even five fifty at times. Just depends on the promotion. Your job is to pay attention. Your job is to read emails. Your job is to know. Your job is to 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 take this on like a W two job, but even better. Like even more because the difference in this scenario is you'll make $1,200 sitting with somebody in one hour. Nothing pays like this. So if nothing pays like this and you know that, wouldn't you treat this completely different than a W-2 job? The problem that a lot of people have is they don't treat this like a W-2 job. In fact, they treat it like now I'm self-employed, I get to do whatever I want. Well, that, that's not going to yield the results that you necessarily want. So, you know, just really challenge yourself on doing what's right. The other thing I would say is what are you doing with your non-income producing time? Early mornings, late at nights, between appointments. So things that I've already always done and enjoyed is I listen to, you know, podcasts, you know, MP3s playing in the car, rolling university type stuff because I'm trying to steal new ideas and implement them into my business or listen to people that have been more successful than me and implement that into my business. Um, one of the areas that I see a lot of people do when they're new is they want to focus on a million different companies and carriers. Confused agents do nothing just like confused <laughs> clients do nothing. So, you know, what I would recommend is starting with a company like Americo because they have the highest comp, they give you 8% bonus. They have products with the living benefits, return on premium, price points are good, all the above. So learn the underwriting guidelines on these products. Let me give you a few examples. Eagle Premier is our final expense product with Americo. 
And you just need to learn that if you answer yes on a question, that means it's declined. So final expense is very easy in regards to underwriting simply because if you answer no, that means they'll be approved, they'll do a script check, you'll know on the spot, you get approval on the spot, you have a deposit within 48 hours. Tremendous product, great way to get traction early. So learn Eagle Premier. HMS, 125, cash back. If you're below age 60, learn that product and understand a couple simple variables like build charts. Like if you're an oral diabetic versus an insulin diabetic, like you, they'll accept oral diabetes and like a, you know, H1AC of seven or below. But these are things that you should be learning on your non-income producing activities that can help you become a better field agent. Because the last thing that we want you to do is go in a house and not know what to do. Now the, now the clear scenario is, 80% of this business is the phone, 15% is the in-home, 5% is product knowledge. So when I say spend some time on product knowledge, what happens for a lot of new producers is they spend 80% of their time on 5% of this business. These products are very simple, they're easy to understand, they're electronic applications, we get instant approvals, and the thing I love about Americo is you can actually run a script check and not submit it to them, and it won't count against your placement or persist persistency. So it's important to have you, you place at least seven out of 10 of your policies with pretty much every single company out there. So you becoming a field underwriter, really understanding how to get qualified. Some of the common things I, I see is agents don't Google medications, so you know they're, they're submitting a policy with somebody that takes Lasix uh, which you know would be like congestive heart failure on some simplified issue term product, or you know they're they're not looking at the build charts and they submit something that's 20 pounds too heavy and it gets declined. They wonder why. So there's some simple blocking and tackling scenarios that you need to be aware of in your first 90 days. But the key component is this: action cures the fear every single time. So if you're someone where you know proper prior preparation prevents poor performance, but if you're someone that prepares so much that you never get started, you're not going to have a ton of success in this business either. So it's a it's a matter of you doing both and doing both quickly. Now that here's here's the number one number one epidemic that you will have as a new producer is your phone skills. I have even seen veteran agents that aren't very good on the phone still, that still produce at a high level. And what I see is people want to spend all their time on everything else, like, what am I going to say in the house? What about this product? We're not going to put you in a house, by the way, where you don't know what product to sell. So that's the good news. We're never going to put you in the house where you're not prepared to know which product to sell. And that's extremely important for you to understand. So you can have confidence that when you set appointments and you call your upline, call your manager, whoever you're working with, that they're gonna give you exactly the roadmap you need. Now that's important for you to understand because you need to have some confidence. However, the phone is where everything happens. So when I listen to live dials on Mondays and Thursdays in our organization and other organizations as well, the biggest reason why people fail is because they don't know how to navigate a objection. In fact, sometimes they create objections on the phone. They don't know how to control a conversation. And their opening is always very poor. So work on your phone skills. There's a tremendous amount of videos out there in regards to phone skills. Do things like block your number with star six, seven, leave voicemails, be in control, tie down. Once they, the biggest thing too on the phone is once they agree to the appointment, slow down and make sure you tie down is there any reason why you both won't be there from Tuesday between 6 and 6.30? Can I ask you a serious question, John, Mary, whatever? Yes. Are you someone that keeps your appointments? Yes, we are. I need you to grab a pen, okay? My name is Matt Smith. I'm going to go over, you know, life insurance quotes with you because you request this online. And I'll see you between about 6.30 and 7. What did you say? What did I say my name was? You know, have them repeat this stuff back to you. Talk about the color of the house, what's parked outside. Slow down at the end because one of the biggest things I can tell you is, uh, as a number, I would say about 
40% appointments end up being one-legged or no-showed. So about 60% of the time, you're, you're battling with getting in front of people. But when you start to slow down, people hold appointments more. You start to ask better quality questions, they start to hold those appointments more. So a lot of times, maybe they're just agreeing with you to get off the phone with you and you don't even know it. But if you tie down those appointments more, you're going to have extreme amount of success as well. In regards to, you know, some in-home scenarios that I think is extremely important to focus on is people buy on five different areas. The first area is they are going to buy from you. So your appearance does matter. You know, your confidence level does matter. How you present yourself does matter. And they need to like and trust you. Basic sales 101. You know, so I think the more that you can develop your people skills and learn how to navigate with the white collar, blue collar, any walk of life that you have, the more results that you're going to have in regards to our business. So that's 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 the first area. If I said, hey, during your non-income producing activities, look at a video with people skills and how to develop them. And people skills will get you more empathy in the house, which will create more value because you're putting yourself in their shoes and you're able to move money that way. That's, that's a huge deal as well. The next scenario is they need to make sure they understand the company that you work for and why you work for. So you work with Family First Life because they're independent brokerage that gives you access to 27 different A-rated insurance carriers to give them the best pricing and product for the industry that, that you're in. So the, the reason why we choose Americo, so we talk about Family First Life, you could have been a captive agent versus a broker. A captive agent's more of a one-size-fits-all scenario. What me being a broker does is you, you're not allowed to mark up insurance. It's all regulated by the state. So I can help identify the best product for your solution, your price point that we're looking for, and make sure it's affordable, meet your needs, and you, you understand it. Does that make sense, John and Mary? Trial closing all the time. So now they believe in Family First Life. They believe in the company that you represent. You have to build value in the carrier. You know, America's the you know, number one independently owned uh, insurance company in the country. They're the largest independently owned insurance company in the country. They've been in business for over 100 years. They're A-rated and they have a fantastic track, track record in regards to paying the death claim. Because the only thing I care about, you know, John and Mary, is you getting that check when one of you is no longer here. Does that make sense? Yes. Now we start to gain some confidence. So it, can you see why I chose Americo as your option? So now you're building value in that. Now we move to the solution. Often, often we don't build value in the solution. And often when you're newer, what happens is we don't identify the problem in the house. So our job is to ask the right questions in the house to help identify the problem. And one of the things that I see a lot of people do, even on the phone and in the home, is listening skills become a real problem. What I mean by this is a lot of times people are telling you things and you're so in your script or you're so in your presentation that you're not listening, which doesn't show a lot of empathy and doesn't gain a lot of trust. So make sure in regards to your solution, somebody might have filled out the form to alleviate the burden on their final expenses, but once you start to talk to them about what their income looks like when they die, they're really buying the policy for income replacement. Or maybe they fill out the, the request online for life insurance gross for 500000 but they really just want their mortgage to be paid for for 250000 So our job through you know, financial inventory is to help identify the problem so we can provide the right solution. Because if the solution's not right, they will not move at all. The, the next area is it has to make logical sense. So logic is important because that's where financial inventory will come into play. Financial inventory is such a powerful tool in this industry because it's where you can locate premium. It's where you can locate money in regards to advanced markets. 
It's also, the reason why I talk about locating premium is they might not have any money for a life insurance policy, but they're paying $800 a month on an 18% credit card. And if you talk to them about, you know, doing a balance transfer through nerdwallet.com for 0% for 18 or 24 months, they could put $500 all towards principal and have $300 left over for life insurance. But if you don't ask quality questions, we'll never get there through that financial inventory. Maybe they're paying a tremendous amount of money towards their mortgage, but if they did a cash back policy, they could still pay off their mortgage early and protect their family and protect themselves with living benefits. So it's, it's just simply locating these premiums that we don't see. A lot of times, you know, your biggest IUL candidate is someone that, you know, is contributing to a 401k and they're doing 10%. They make, let's say they make five grand a year. They're doing 10% contribution a year, which is $500 a month. But they're only getting matched 5%. So only $250 getting matched. Well, you actually located an extra $250 to go towards tax-free retirement. But if you don't do a proper financial inventory, you're never going to locate the premium to allocate the money to the right places. And we all know the best type of money is free money, but the second best type is tax-free, then tax-deferred, then tax. So it's important for you to have that strategy to develop a tax-free retirement scenario and get into IULs. And if you, don't, if you don't ask the right questions inside the financial inventory, you don't create the second sale opportunities with IULs and fixed index annuities. It's crazy. There's over $1 trillion, $1 trillion with a T, dollars of orphan 401k accounts. So there's people out there that literally have their 401k sitting at their old job, because most people change jobs like 11 times in their career, sitting in an account that's doing nothing, And we could actually, just by you asking questions, we could help move that money. Or maybe they took a money for their previous employer and put it in their current employer. Now, the key is you usually cannot, if someone's currently working, usually can't move their 401k. But you can move an old 401k that got moved in their current 401k, for example. So these are areas that you can, can improve on and really start to move money that way. So financial inventory, there's a lot of videos that segments it and goes through it item by item, but get great at that. Because so, as soon as you get great at that, that will make logical sense, which is the fourth thing you need in every single house. So you, you'll make logical sense that way. The fifth scenario is where a lot of the top producers are the best at. Top producers bring out emotion to their clients. Top producers create a sense of urgency by bringing out that emotion. So how do we bring out emotion? We storytell. And we talk about people's experiences in regards to life and everything else. So it's important for you, as you start to run your personal production appointments, to understand these five things. It's important for you to say, okay, you know, they have to like and trust me. They have to understand the company and the product, you know, the company and the that you work for in the carrier. They have to have the right solution. They have to make logical sense through financial inventory, and you have to bring out emotion. If you have all five of those things, you get every single sale. If you miss one of them, you don't have that sale, which is extremely important. The, the last scenario that I'll touch on is, you know, second sales opportunity are the easiest ones for anybody to sell So understanding advanced markets early is going to put a tremendous amount of cash in your account and really be able to help you invest in more leads and be more aggressive. So, you know, you could, the average annuity is roughly $100,000 at Family First Life. You know, starting commission, that's at least five grand in your pocket. You know, five grand is a huge difference. You could do one of those a month, no problem, just by asking the right questions. Do you have anything else that acts like life insurance? You know, there's just, there's so many powerful tools that you can use to help your first 90 days be so successful. But again, to summarize, get great on the phone, get great at getting leads, create a people problem, just get in front of many people as you possibly can. The greatest thing that you need to understand is you can outwork 
your talent level. So if right now you're not as talented and you need to run more appointments to close what you need to close, then that's the name of the game. And guess what? As you get more talented, you can reallocate time and resources. But right now, you have to outwork it. You have to really outwork it from the beginning. You have to plug in. You have to do the things that the common people don't want to do. Stay uncommon. Let's have the biggest year in 2021 of your career, of your life, and hopefully you'll have a life-changing event and it will be the best year. So thank you for your time and I'll talk to you guys later.